we all have a dream. We all want to win. We all want to be the best that we could possibly be. Well, I hope we all do. I understand that some people, they might feel beat down in life. They might feel like they just want to give up. You know, I've been there before. But, um, you know, a new year, everybody want to kill habits, change shit. Try to become a better person. Shit like that. What you gotta understand is when it comes to changing habits and shit like that, a lot of it is mental more than um, physical. You also gotta understand that people can be bad habits too. It ain't just things. You are your biggest enemy when you're dealing with habits. Will you be able to stop right away? Probably not. That's why people who... I, that's why I don't really agree with New Year's revolution or resolutions because if you uh, make one and then January 7th, you back to your bad habit or something, you might just give up for the whole year. It's good that people uh, make these things, but I think that they shouldn't expect for them to be able to... Um, execute it you know right after January 1st another thing people should not do is try to substitute a habit with another habit sometimes it might work but if you could you're better off just lowering the habit that you do and then getting off of it for example Let's say somebody trying to quit smoking weed. A lot of people will start drinking to quit smoking weed, right? But then they'll be addicted to drinking. They might It might work for them to quit smoking weed, but now they're drinking. I think a better alternative is, let's say you smoke five blunts a day. Break it down to four blunts a day. Then break it down to three blunts a day then two, then one, then none. That's the best way to kill bad habits a lot of times. It's, it's not easy to just drop shit because a lot of times when you just drop something, you'll go right back to it and then you'll give up. That's why I say that you should um, lower your bad habits first until you have no desire to do it anymore. Just like if you want to uh, start a diet. But let me get back to that for a second. When it comes to people that are bad habits, you might want to just cut them off. That's a whole different thing because you're dealing with a whole different animal when you're talking about bad habits of people. But when it comes to things like stuff you eat or do, let's just say a diet, for example. If you just try to completely quit a diet, for one, your body's going to go in shock because your body is used to uh, all the sugar and extra calories or whatever you've been doing. So your body, it's gonna be on, it's gonna be awful hard. Why do you think sometimes when boxers uh, try to make weight, you know, they damn near dead fight night. Like they have nothing left. Versus if they would have just kept lowering their um, weight down. Same thing with the diet thing. A lot of y'all want to change your diet. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to just be able to just say, you know what, today I'm not ever eating a cookie or nothing. That's almost unrealistic. Even some of the best bodybuilders in the world, like zero body fat almost, even they cheat every now and then. So what do you do? You have to uh, lower, you have to break yourself of it slowly. Like just start eating more good shit than bad. And then every now and then, you'll probably eat a cook some cookies or something that you know you're not supposed to do. But then you just get right back, to eating, you get right back to eating good again, right? We can do this shit. We can do anything we want, man. Same thing with like, um, it's like some people in businesses. You think people just jump into business and, and it just goes right how they want it, and that's it, and it just works. Probably not. Most of the most successful people probably take the most losses. It's like a business. You build a business. You start and it, it keeps growing and growing and growing. 
things like this take time. Change takes time, y'all. It ain't gonna happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight for you to gain these bad habits. These bad habits didn't form overnight. To me, Facebook is a bad habit unless you are using it for like um, some type of uh, business or something. I really believe for the most part, it's a bad habit because it's wasting time. It's wasting time off of things that you could be doing. So like any of y'all, y'all wanna change like just certain things in your life, man. Just take babies. If you try to just do it all overnight, I'm trying to tell you, you're probably gonna relapse. Can't change something overnight that you've been doing all your life. Like certain things you've been doing all your life. Like even a woman, let's say a woman that she's attracted to no good guys and she doesn't like the, the good guys. She could probably start liking good guys. She's just gonna have to take baby steps with it to break her uh, lust of the bad guys. But if she just jumps over to a good guy real quick, then like, nah, I'm cool. Let me jump back over. You see what I mean? She'll relapse right back. It takes time, y'all. The weight thing is a, a, the best analogy I can use for people. Everybody want to lose weight and everybody want to get in shape. It takes time. That's it, man. It don't happen overnight. Nothing, nothing worth having happens overnight. If, if everything that was like worth having happens overnight, then everybody would be doing it. If if every if success was something you could just have happen overnight, everybody would be successful. Even like if you've been a parent, you know what I mean? Maybe you want to be do better things as a parent. You're gonna have to. Uh, it takes time for you to uh, mold yourself into becoming a better parent. <laughs> Like maybe maybe you a uh, parent and you like man I want to stop going out so much and partying and spend more time with my kids. Now you're not gonna be able to just quit right then because you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss that life. So what you gotta do is just start, you know, not going out as much as as uh not going out as much as you do actually go out. You used to go out every weekend, break that shit down every other weekend until it's no more or whatever. Like I said. <laughs> The blunt thing, you smoke five blunts a day, start going down to four, then three, then two, then one, then none. Why does this work more effective? Because by the time you're down at one blunt, you know you're almost to the point that you don't even really need it no more. And then eventually you won't need it no more. Same thing with anything else in life. Maybe you wanna become celibate. Who knows? Everybody has goals and, and um, things they want to do. But the key is not to feel deprived and not to relapse. And the only way to do that is to slowly break yourself from it. There is no other way, y'all. Just like some people who are in relationship with somebody and they want to leave them alone. What do they usually do? They slowly try to break themselves from them. They don't just drop drop the person. Some people might, it depend on what happened. Yeah, we get it. But a lot of times what people do is ease their way away from that person. You know, if they just drop them, they're going to miss them. They're going to miss them anyway, probably, but they'll miss them even more. Like you just drop somebody cold turkey unless they did some crazy ass bullshit. So it's fine to make your new New Year's, you know, plan or whatever change and all that shit. But just understand that you're probably still gonna uh, do do some of your old ways. You know what I mean? You're still gonna do some of your old ways, and that's fine. You just gotta get right back on that horse. When you fall off that horse, you gotta get back on it. You know, I say with the diet thing all the time. It's damn near depriving yourself. I'm going to go on a diet and I'm never going to eat a cookie again, a cake, or none of that. That's damn near depriving. Like, you want to live life. Let's say you're trying to save some money. I'm never going to buy nothing ever again. I'm just going to save a bunch of money. That's not living. What you need to do when it comes to saving money, say you got a bad habit of spending money. What you need to do is save more money than what you're spending. Just like the, just like the uh, blunt thing. 
You know, you need to save more money than what you're spending. You don't have to completely not buy shit. You know, like uh, every week Jordans come out, you buy new Jordans. Don't buy them every week. I'm just giving y'all simple examples of shit. This is how you change people. It's something, it's, it's like a process. It's like a training process that you train yourself, your mind and, and your spirit and everything, and even your body, because it's physical too. And eventually, you'll be all right. Some people need to um, train themselves to be alone for a while because some people, they can't change because of people that hang around. So until they train themselves to be alone for a while, you know what I mean? Then they'll they'll just keep the same people around and they'll stay the same. Sacrifices have to be made. I say this all the time when it comes to uh, this shit in life, man. Sacrifices have to be made. It does not mean that you don't like people, but sometimes you have to separate yourself from certain people. If that means to be alone, if it means to be alone to become the person that you need to be, then that's just what you gotta do. You're not gonna be alone anyway because you. God is there for one and there's always going to be people you can interact with you just don't have no circle you just stay to yourself for the most part and that's fine you focus on your purpose what's wrong with that you could be a woman writing a book or something focusing on yourself right now what's wrong with that I don't see how a person could really feel lonely if they focusing on their purpose it's too much it's, it's too much um, it takes too much um concentration and energy and focus and shit your mind will be on your purpose more than oh i'm alone nobody's around type bullshit you won't be worried about that shit man that's why some people say that's one of the best ways to get over people you break up with somebody you stay busy you know you don't go looking for somebody else that's the wrong move because that is going to make you that's like another habit that's like the same habit but a different person it's still the same habit you the habit of a relationship and now you're going to be thinking about that other person even more that's why i don't really agree with that if you if i break up with somebody i don't really agree with just getting with somebody right away all that's going to do is make me think of that person it's just not worth it you know what i mean the best way is to just fall back So I'm sure y'all get my point. Don't want to make videos too long because I'm going to keep making videos. I got to do this. You know, I got to do this for my YouTube. It is what it is, man. I'm just trying to uh, get the message out to people, man. Hopefully people um, can try to change their lives, you know what I mean? And everything I say, I apply to me. So I practice what I preach. I don't just get out here on, on a fucking video and just start running my mouth, you know? That's stupid. That's childish. It has, it, if it doesn't affect me, what, why would I waste my time and energy doing it? I mean, not affect me. If it doesn't help me, should I say? That's what I meant to say. If it doesn't help me, why would I even address it? Why would I waste energy on it? But these bad habits, man, do not substitute. I know that's what a lot of people do. They say, well, this only way you should substitute a bad habit, I take that back. Not completely but a little. The only way you should substitute a bad habit is if you substitute it for a good habit. Say you always trying to find women and men to kick it with. And then you substitute that for, you know, always trying to find a purpose and a ways to make money and succeed and become a better woman or man. Now that's a good thing. You see, all you did is get rid of something that's not benefiting you and you substitute it for something that is. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Let's say you, you used to spend the money, right? You spend money all the time. You buy Jordans and shit. You substitute that habit for buying stocks, bonds, and shit like that. See? Sometimes, you, yeah, if that's what it takes, man. If it takes to substitute something to fill that void for something better, then that's ain't no problem with that. That's what I'm on right now. I got all the clothes I need and all the shoes. Ain't no, there's really no point in me buying no. I can't even, I don't even have time to wear the shit that I got, honestly. So what's the point? What is the point to keep buying more and more and more clothes? There really ain't no point. So what can you do other than that? Put money in the stuff that actually makes more money. Now it's another level. You pass that level. 
a lot of you girls, a lot of you uh, females and males, you you passed the level of a car and, and and nice clothes and stuff. Now it's time to step to the next level, y'all. It's time to step your your game up to the next level. Okay, we look rich. Now it's time to become rich. You know, you dig me or you don't. I don't know. Some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. You think I don't want a new car? Of course I do, but is it really important? Is it a need or is it a want? Nothing is wrong with my car. I'm in a nice car right now. Some men actually have bad habits of, of buying cars and putting their family in debt and shit. You know, their wife like, what the hell? Why'd you buy this car? You know you don't need this car or whatever. That's a bad habit. You know, there's so many ways you can have bad habits. It's not just one thing. And all of us are guilty of bad habits. Not one of us is walking around here with no bad habit. That's some bullshit. Anybody say they are, they are somebody who don't have them, they lie. So it does not matter what your bad habit is. Like they say, no sin is different than the other. Really, no bad habit is different than the other. If it's causing problem in your life or destroying you as a person, things like that. Bad habit is a bad habit, no matter how you look at it or what it is. In my opinion, we are all different people, you know, we all dealing with different shit. Mm. So whatever it is that y'all want to improve on, you can do it, but just understand it's going to take work. Understand that you're going to be tempted sometimes to go back and all that just keep moving whatever it takes prayer you you i don't want to hit this blunt i feel like smoking again man pray or something see a lot of things that people do too is it's easy to say i'm going to do this or that and talk about it but then when it's time to do it it's a whole different ball game what do i mean oh i'm gonna quit smoking i'm gonna quit smoking weed dog for real dog i'm done with this shit but you smoking a blunt right now. Of course you could say you're going to quit while you're getting high. I used to do the same fucking shit. Be getting high. Yeah, I'm about to quit this shit, dog. This is my last one. Yeah, because you high. Do that shit when you about to, when you thinking about, I'm, I, oh, man, I need to get high, man. I need, I need some weed. That's when you got to test yourself. Not when you're getting high. Not when you're literally getting high. That's different. So apply that to all the other bad habits. Like, man, I need to stop eating bad food, right? Of course you're gonna say, oh, well, uh, you know, just this last, this last honey bun real quick, man. Of course you can say you about to, you need to stop eating food while you about to eat some bad food. You need to test yourself when you want that shit and it's not there. Like, damn, I wanna go get that pizza, but you know what, I ain't gonna do it. You know what I mean? That's when you test yourself. You test yourself in, in, the, in the moment of, what you could call the moment of truth or temptation. That's when you tell yourself, no, I need to stop doing this. Not why you're doing it. You know, smoking weed, getting high as hell, talking about I need to quit smoking. Yeah, you high right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It sounds good. It feels good. It sounds good to say. But um, should have been saying that on the way to buying that, that bag from the weed guy. You know what I'm saying? So that's how bad habits work, people. You got to attack them. When, when they are attacking you, when the bad habit is attacking you, that's when you got to attack it and say, no, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to defeat you. And I know you're going to come back for another round. and I'm going to defeat you in that round too. Because it's going to keep coming back until you get a hold of it. You're going to keep thinking about it and missing it until you, it's no longer. Even to, to this day, sometimes I still be watching a movie like, man, I, man, I would like to smoke a blunt and watch this movie. But, you know, that fades away because it's been so long. You know what I mean? It's just a thought for a second. It's gone. But if it just happened yesterday, if I just quit smoking blunts yesterday, you know what? I'm going to go right to that weed, man, get my blunt and watch that movie. See, y'all got to understand when it comes to these bad habits, it gets easier over time. That's what people too. That's what people you deal with, too. So you heartbroken and crying and shit, whatever y'all do, women, whatever, man, whatever you're doing. You know, you sad over somebody, whatever. You just broke up with them. Understand over time it gets easier. You know, some of y'all, y'all run back to the person or to the habit because you scared that you can't do it, but you can do it. It just takes time. You're you're stronger than the habit. You're bigger than the habit. 
But I will say this, do not even uh, think about quitting no type of habit until you know that you're ready. Like, look, I'm ready to try this shit. And then even if you do fail a week later or something, just get right back. You wanted to quit smoking weed. You failed a week later. Now try to make it a week in one day. Even if you do just for a week in one day, that's still more. Next time you smoke again, relapse, you can make it a week or two days. Just keep adding that shit up more and more. It's not about if you fail when you're trying to uh, stop bad habits. Because you probably are going to fail at first. It's about you not worrying about, okay, I fucked up. I ate that pizza. Get back on this shit. You know what I mean? That's all it is, man. You're human. You're a human being. You're going to fuck up every now and then. You know what I mean? With the blunt analogy, you know? The the food, the bad food. It's okay. It's okay, man. Because honestly, man, like... um. It's too almost. It's almost impossible to keep a, a diet and not ever cheat. So you're gonna need that that um that uh. What do you call it? Self control of um you know okay I'm gonna eat some pizza tonight and then I'm gonna go back go my diet you know what I mean whatever you're doing, or the same thing with like drinking oh, I'm gonna smoke tonight you know I'm gonna kick it and smoke it tonight but I'm back on it I'm sober for the next five days. You're gonna need that control anyway. So, yeah, man, I mean, it's not going to happen overnight, y'all. You 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 form the habit, you know, and it, it just ain't going to, you're just not going to be able to get rid of it overnight. And we, if we talk about breakups, you're not getting over somebody over fucking night. You're not. You might have to leave them alone. Or, oh, you came home and she was in the bed or he was in the bed fucking somebody else. Yeah, you got to leave them alone right there. But understand, you're going to miss the person and all that at first. That's just the way it is. That don't mean that you got to run back. That don't mean that you're not bigger than the situation. You're always, we are all, we are all bigger than all these bad habits we got. They wasn't there when we was first born. We decided to form these bad habits, even if it's choosing somebody you chose. We created these bad habits. We're bigger than them. You fall off your horse, get the fuck back on. Don't say, ah, oh, man, I fell off my horse. I give up. I cheated. I ate that pizza. I might well just start the next three days. No, 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 no. Okay, you fucked up. Now get back to what you was doing. Because you're going to fuck up every now and then. That's just the way it is. At least until you really strong enough to not even deal with the shit no more. But when it comes to food, I mean, that's some. that's a whole different thing. Like, you're going to cheat at some point. So the only thing you can do with the food thing is to just limit your cheating. And I really mean limit that shit. But don't deprive yourself. Because then you'll just say, fuck it, man. Fuck this diet, man. I want to eat cookies every now and then. You think I'm going to go the rest of my life without eating a cookie? No way. Nah. No, a cake? Nope. But my birthday's coming up. And guess what? I'm so focused right now on my diet. I don't even want a birthday cake. At least at this point. I mean, maybe I will on the 19th. But at this point, I don't even want the cake. I don't even want to fuck with nothing like that right now. I want to keep it just how I got it right now. While I'm on my, while I'm on the shit of, I'm on this shit. You know what I mean? I want to keep it that way. I've always had a decent diet, but I want to take it a step further. You know what I mean? With the money thing, maybe you do got some money, but you got bad habits of spending on on George and shit like that. Start spending that money on some other shit. Sometimes you don't always have to buy the Jordans every time, every week they come out. Or you don't always have to play the lottery every week or whatever. Whatever your habit is. If you want to change it, it doesn't have to be overnight. It just has to be, you just have to make progress in changing it. Whatever it is. Celibate, whatever it is. It's not going to happen overnight. You don't have to make it happen overnight. All you got to do is make sure that you are making progress. I'm going to say this shit one more time before I leave it go in this gym. You want to quit smoking weed or something. We just using weed as an analogy. This can apply to anything, sex, anything. Okay, you quit for a week and you fell off. Now try to make it a week in one day or more. And whatever you do, I made it. Let's say you make it a week in, in five days. Try to make it a week, two weeks or three weeks. Always try to keep making it longer. I'm telling you, each time you do it, you'll be able to do it longer. You already did it once. Like, shit, I already did it a week. I can go a little bit more. 
But honestly, man, sometimes that's like playing Russian roulette when you keep going back to habits because, you know, a lot of times what you will do is you'll just give up and just give in. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't even advise that. But I mean, if you have to, and I definitely would not advise picking up bad habits, trying to quit a bad habit. You know, I said earlier about the Jordan thing. You could substitute habits with other habits. Like you're used to buying Jordans. Now you could just buy the stocks and bonds instead of the Jordans. That's substituting a habit for a good habit. You know, you was used to going to the club. Now you can start working on your purpose or something. Something else besides the fucking club or whatever you're doing. Whatever you know that's a bad habit, substitute that for something else. You got to put something positive there. Wherever there's negative in your life, Try to uh, fill that void with something positive. That time, whatever you do at night or whatever, the day or whatever. You all get my point. Every weekend you go kick it in the club. Try to figure out, oh, fuck it. I'm going to work extra for a while. You know, to break this habit of going to the club, I'm going to just start working uh, every weekend for a while. It's, it's winter time anyway. Fuck it. What do I got to lose? I'm about to start working every weekend or something. Whatever. Or maybe I'll just spend time with my kids at home or something. Or, or my relationship or something. Instead of getting on Facebook a bad habit, which is kind of a bad habit unless you get paid. Maybe I'll just spend more time with my girlfriend or boyfriend or something like that. I'm going to leave y'all alone with this, man. Y'all not slow. Y'all very intelligent people. Therefore, I don't got to keep beating a dead horse all day long. I think I didn't touch everything I possibly could. I hope I did. And until next time, man, y'all stay up. I hope uh, I would like if y'all like my uh, YouTube channel, subscribe, whatever, because at some point I'm going to have to just stick to that, you know, but until next time, man, get rid of these bad habits, man. You are stronger than them and it's not going to happen overnight. Don't have to happen overnight. Just make progress in this shit. Whatever your bad habit is, spending money, whatever it is, substitute, find substitutes for it, positive substitutes, make changes. And I'm not just saying this because this is a new year. This is an everyday thing. You know, this New Year's resolution shit needs to be every day, not fucking January the 1st. And January the 1st ain't even the new year anyway. That's another bad habit that we need to stop thinking about, honestly, because it's a lie. Mother Nature clearly tells you that when the uh, beginning of the or the new year is. It doesn't tell you exactly what day, but you start seeing the uh, crops and the trees and all that shit come back to life. You know, Mother Nature is the truth, not no man. Man made June, January 1st, uh, the new year, y'all. But um, that's just some reaching shit. But it's true shit, though. You know, it's, it's maybe irrelevant. Does it really matter? Probably not because our calendar ain't going to change. We can't change that. So, you know, just as long as y'all know the truth and you're not being lied to because they got a lot of lies out here. These man made lies, you know. And, you know, if I have a kid, I want my kid to know the truth. Hey, nah, that's not... uh. New Year's. New Year's is when the trees and all this stuff starts coming back. I want my kids to know the truth. They already dumb us down with all they damn lies, you know? So, nah, I'm not having that if I have a kid. You know, everything has to be calculated and plotted and planned out. And that's another bad habit we need to break. Stop listening to everything we see on these news and, and everything. They've all They've always been lying to us, you know? It's the truth, man. We got to break these habits, all these habits of distractions, you know, Facebook all the time instead of wasting time, man. Time ain't forever. Nothing wrong with Facebook, but the only problem is it takes away your time. You could be doing a lot of other shit. It's just the truth. Think about life before Facebook. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a gift and a fucking curse. Just like a lot of other shit in life, like sex and shit like that. Gifts and curse. So be careful how you use anything in life. 